What up, Wizard? Welcome to a different episode. Today, we are still in Germany, Dusseldorf. This episode is mind-blowing for me and for a whole lot of people. You are going to watch so you know. Now, Wizard, before this video even continues, the person we are about to talk to today in this episode is the first Ghanaian, the first African I've met who is a pharmacist and also own his own pharmacy in Europe. Very incredible, kind-hearted and super polite individual. We talked about a whole lot of stuff, but what he went through to open this pharmacy abroad, that is the reason why you should watch this video till the end and also share it because this video will be very helpful to a whole lot of people abroad, especially in countries that does not speak um, English or Chi. So share the video so that it can reach so many people who can benefit from this. No long talk, Nana. Let's continue with the video. Dr. Michael Ameya. You see, I see the name tag, everything is set. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Doc, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Long day. Yeah, yeah, day. yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. But. When we came to do set off, people said we have to come and talk to you because you also have a unique story, a unique business, which most Africans don't even try to venture. What do you do? Yeah, like you... <laughs> He said earlier, mm -hmm. right, I'm a pharmacist. Pharmacist, right? yeah. Yes, and I own my own full Ghanaian or African business. African 100%. business, yeah. That is it, African business. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, this business, why do you even get into this business? Um, it's, it it starts from a dream, mm -hmm. right? Because children, we all have dreams. Yeah. Some want to become a doctor. Doctor, Some want policeman. to become policemen and so on. Yeah. But I wanted to become a pharmacist. A pharmacist. Earlier on. Oh, earlier on. I yes. see. Uh, because of the st some story I witnessed um, I mean, earlier in my life, mm -hmm. uh, someone, I don't want to mention the name, yeah. right, died of um, wow. normal asthma, or what we call um, COPD, that is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Oh. Um, she was uh, baking bread. Bake, oh, a bread baker, okay. That is it. And the thing is, when you bake bread, mm -hmm. you inhale this uh, smoke and so. Ah, right. the invisible smoke. That is it. Oh. Yeah, and you can um, develop asthma mm -hmm. or what we call COPD. Okay. Yes. And um, when you have this COPD, you have this aha syndrome. Mm -hmm. You know the aha syndrome? Which one? The one you have to, you know. <laughs> that is it. Oh, okay. the, the A is a German word for um, act note, like you, you can't breathe regularly. Okay. Right. Okay. And the H is, um, is husten, mm -hmm. like you have your coughing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the third A is um, also like when you cough, mm -hmm. you spit sputum. Okay. Right. Okay. Like saliva or so. Yeah. Right. And the person died. Wow. Yes. Because Here in Europe? No, that was in Ghana. Okay. okay. Right. And mm -hmm. this is the problem is that a lot of Africans face. Mm. Right. Just a simple treatment. Just simple uh, COPD treatment. And okay. it's not expensive, but we didn't have the access to it. Okay. Right. So all this thing, that was earlier when I was young. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to become a pharmacist. Mm -hmm. and, um, oh, so that motivated you to even become a pharmacist in the future? That is it. Oh, okay. So, where did you get your education to become a pharmacist? In Africa or here? No, I grew up in Bremen. Oh, I right. see. That I is see. where I went through all these uh, stages in school, mm -hmm. like the primary school. Mm -hmm. uh, I did my abitur there. Okay. Right. That's the German word. <laughs> that is the German word. Yeah. And uh, you have to work hard. Mm -hmm. Right. So, after the abitur, mm -hmm. you can apply to the university. Okay. Right. And uh, they do some selections there because you need some. Grades. Uh, some grades. Better grades. That, yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know because anyone who is a pharmacist, <laughs> who is a scientist, have to have better grades. You can't just go into this kind of business with bad grades. That it, is it. Yeah. Yeah. So then you go to the uh, pharmacy mm -hmm. school. I studied in Braunschweig. The university. The university. In Bremen. No, in I grew up in Bremen, mm -hmm. but you can't you, you can't uh, study in uh, you can't study pharmacy in Bremen. Oh, right. okay. So, so it's, it's a like, special school you have to actually go to. That is it. Either oh. I go to Hamburg yeah. or I go to Braunschweig. Okay. Right. And I didn't even know where Braunschweig was. <laughs> this is my first day of hearing the name. Eh? That is it. Uh, so I moved to Braunschweig. Okay. And then you go through the pharmacy school. Five to six years. It's very hard. S six years? That is it. <laughs> wow. A lot of people think that um, medicine is uh, difficult than pharmacy. That is not true. 
Really? It, that is not true. I mean, because we learned the same thing that the doctors learn, mm -hmm. but the pharmacists will have more. Oh. Yeah, because we go deep, deep, deep into chemistry, ah. pharmacology, and so on. Yes. Oh, I see. Yes. I see. So after that school, what happened next? When you complete the university, you just open your own business or you have to go through some kind of obstacles here and there too? No. The thing is when you come out of the pharmacy school, mm -hmm. uh, you are, yeah, let's say you are a pharmacist, mm -hmm. but you are not a pharmacist because you don't have the experience. Oh, I right? see. It. Yeah, so true. you have to go out and get some experience mm -hmm. first. And that was in my case mm -hmm. because um, I didn't have any pharmacies in my family. Okay. I mean, yeah. Some of my colleagues, they have their fathers or their mothers, they were like pharmacists, so mm -hmm. they had all these skills. The skills, right? yeah. So I had to go out there and get the skills. Mm -hmm. So I went out, I worked for four years. For another, oh, so you worked under someone for four years? For four years. Okay. That is it. Then I decided to mm. open my own mm. pharmacy, yes. Okay. Now, getting to opening your own pharmacy. Yes. Is it easy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, right? But, but it is not easy at all. Really? It is not easy at okay. all. Because mm -hmm. uh, the first thing, like, you have the qualifications mm -hmm. and you have the licenses. But that is not all, mm -hmm. right? You need a certain amount of money mm -hmm. uh, to, to start. Open, okay, to start this business. To start this business. Okay. Right. Then that, that brings me back to the question. <laughs> to open this business. Yes. Is it is not like any common business I've seen? No. So to open this type of business, what amount do you need? How much? Like people think it, it may be 100,000. Me, you asked me earlier and I said about 100,000. You yes. said no. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you need mm -hmm. between 600,000 euros and 1 million. I was here. <laughs> so you are talking euros, not Ghana cities. No Ghana cities. Which means <laughs> at least seven hundred thousand euros. Let me say to open a pharmaceutical store. To open a pharmaceutical what is the better store. word, pharmaceutical store or drug store? Is all the same? Uh, yeah, it's, it, let's say it's a pharmacy. We a, pharmacy. a pharmacy, fantastic. Yeah, a pharmacy. So you need about seven hundred thousand euros. Yes. To open a pharmacy. Yes. And then you are rich. No, <laughs> you think I'm rich? I'm, I'm in minus because. I, when I started, mm -hmm. oh, how much money did I had? I had I didn't have any money. Mm -hmm. Sister, we are talking about seven hundred thousand euros. Yeah. No, we have to talk to the banks. Okay. Yes. If they will, I mean, they, they will, will give, you give you the loan. Yes, man, the loan. Oh. Yes. So does any bank or we have a special bank we have to go to to get this amount of money? Because you can't walk into a bank that way. I want seven hundred thousand dollars to open a pharmacy. No, in Germany we have the, we call it the Apple Bank. Apple Bank, okay. Apple Bank. The, the name Apple is Apotheca Bank. Ah, okay, 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 okay. That so they it. give, oh, so there's a special bank dedicated to giving loans and, okay, for young entrepreneurs back then, yeah. That is it. To open your own business yes. if you are getting into pharmacy. That is it. But the other banks, they can also give you the money, mm. but it is very, very difficult. Um, mm -hmm. Before I had my bank at the Spakasse. Okay. I mean, everyone knows Sparkas, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I've been with the Sparkas since I was 15 years old. 15 years. So I asked them, mm -hmm. right, if they can give me, they say, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a lovely conversation. You walk into the bank, they ask you, how much amount do you need? 700,000. <laughs> yes. They told me to move back to Bremen, uh -huh. where I grew up, and then we can talk about it. Maybe. 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 Wow. Yes. So is it easy to secure that amount of money? Do you have to go through a whole lot of process or it's just you go, you ask, and then they give you? No, it's, the thing is um, you need some, um, I mean, be, being a pharmacy, you need a lot of skills, uh -huh. right? Um, I told you earlier you need uh, integrity. Integrity, yeah. And they will find out, mm -hmm. right? If you are, mm -hmm. Right, and they will, um, I mean, let's not search, but they will scan through you. Right, how you manage money mm -hmm. because we in this business we have there's a lot of money going through yeah so they have to you have to know how you manage money mm -hmm. it's not like you make the money and then you just blow it mm -hmm. and uh, in my case they wanted to see my savings accounts okay uh, since i was 15 years old right every wow. penny that came in and went out they, they have to control how you spend money how you get money that is it 
Everything. Everything. So which means if you want to be a pharmacist here in Europe, abroad, wherever, yes. you have to also think about your future from a very young age. It is. Because you didn't know they are going to go back to when you were 15 years. No, no, no. I didn't know. Right? Wow. But that is where the reality sets in. Sets in. Okay. Yes. And that is not all. You also have uh, our Kama. The Kama is um, the pharmacy council. Okay. They also look, they also scan you through some certain qualities, right? Oh. About your integrity. Mm-hmm. Um, how, I mean, if you, if you took some drugs mm -hmm. or if you are alcoholic. Wow. Uh, in the bad days, mm -hmm. of course. They, that also counts. That also counts. That also counts. <laughs> because it is written in the pharmacy law that mm -hmm. uh, you have to be mentally fit. Mentally fit, yes. yeah. Not and physically too, of course. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. To be able to do the business, and mm -hmm. they put focus on that. So wow. they search you. Um, I remember when um, we we have some stuffs like uh, like cannabis. You know cannabis, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Weed. <laughs> that is it. Uh -huh. And some people, um, there are some guy they they ordered um, cannabis, mm -hmm. right? And I put my name on the receipt. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just put my name on the receipt. Okay. And I sent into my um, I don't know what you say it in English or... What, what is that? Yeah, Stoyabelata is like... Um, oh, what is Stoya? Stoya is tax, your tax... Oh, so the, the tax returns. That I don't know it. if that... Okay, okay, There's, okay. Yeah, we have a certain office there. Okay, okay. Um, and they saw my name. Right, mm -hmm. so they contact me, and the camera that I'm talking about contact me. They Ooh. wanted to know like why was my name written on that paper? Because well, they were thinking like I was smoking this weed, yeah, myself, back then. right? So um, <laughs> they searched through all those stuff. Wow! Right? And then you also have the state itself. Mm -hmm. That is, we call it. Like, so the two is not done. No. There is also a third. There is a third one. That is wow. the, that's Gizun Heights armed, uh. right? Those people, they come and control you, mm -hmm. right? And they also scan through some things. If you are your integrity. Then uh, integrity matters. Integrity matters, big time, yes. Wow. So going through all this, getting the amount of money you need to open this pharmacy, getting um, the approval from the banks, the state, and then um, the third one, which is the pharma, the cancer, the pharmacy yeah. cancer. Yeah. Is it? How long does that process take? Um... I mean, it took me, uh, the process took me, I think, two years. So, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, so it's not like three months and you are done? No, no, no. It took me two years. Oh. It took me two years. But, and one thing I will, uh, one advice that I will give to uh, our friends or brothers or sisters working work in this, mm -hmm. um, there were people uh, who were willing to help me. Mm -hmm. Right, I mean, to guide you through all this process. Okay. That is it. Mm -hmm. And that also counts too. Oh. So if you are willing to do it, you will get a helping hand. From the, the African community or from the whites? <laughs> no, no, from the white. Right. Uh, <laughs> because I was like, okay, do we still have another family? <laughs> because I, I don't know anyone. That is it. Yeah, oh, who owns no. a pharmacy abroad? Yes. Yeah. So let's come into um, this uh, pharmacy. You sell everything, or there are some specific products you have to medicines you have to sell. Uh, we, like right. you, you see, for example, if you are selling shoes, you have to get maybe size 41, 42, 43. That is it. Or you have to get all of the sizes no, when it comes to pharmacy. We have a lot of lot of medicine, mm -hmm. right? We cannot have everything here. Yeah. And we order, let's say, about fifty percent of the medicine that we order for the people mm. that we don't have it in the pharmacy. Oh, uh, I see. I and see. some are uh, some special medicine that we have to order mm, right. okay 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 yeah. okay so i told you earlier uh, a friend one guy came in there mm -hmm. he's having um mukovizidos that is yama word <laughs> i think it's also the english word really yes he's spitting um blood no uh, saliva oh okay right. okay okay you know, okay okay i mean their lungs is producing saliva mm -hmm. all the time the oh like the corona same things or it's different? It's different. Okay. It's different. It's, it's something like you, when you, let's say you're, you're producing saliva mm -hmm. and it can't stop, right? Ah, so it's, it just keeps going. Okay, okay. It just keeps then going. There's special circumstances. That is it. And if you don't treat, you, your lungs will be filled with this saliva. Mm. Right? So maybe you can't even breathe. Oh, I see. Uh, and I see. this medicine costs, uh, I told you, uh, <laughs> 
tell the, tell the people. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, you, you, you listen to this. Tell the people how yeah, much yeah. is the cost of that it's, medicine? It's 32,000 euros in some <laughs> sense. <laughs> 32,000 euros for a medicine. Now, you, you know why they need 700,000 euros to open this pharmacy now. So, everyone needs 700,000 or if you want a bigger pharmacy, there's also a bigger price. No, it is, the, the price is the same. Okay. Yeah, because um, in, in the pharmacies, we mm -hmm. have some medicine that we can adjust the price. Okay. Right, like paracetamol or ibuprofen, mm -hmm. you can sell it how you want to. But there are some medicine, the price is fixed. Okay. Everywhere in Germany. Oh. You, you are not allowed to uh, I see. change the price, yes. Mm. So, um, I think we have to also circle back to our own African community. Yes. Is the Africans here, most of us, as you know, no? Some people came here because of the documentation issues. Yes. Their age is not what it is, yes. actually. Mm -hmm. So when they come to you, they have some kind of... Um, when they, For example, they go to a hospital, they can't tell the doctor, okay, on my document, I'm 14 years old, but actually I'm 28. Mm -hmm. When they come to you, do you have some kind of... What is the word I'm looking for? Uh, I forgot the word. <laughs> or like... Um, why they can come to you, tell you what they, they are, the real truth, and that truth will not be revealed to maybe the police or the, uh, for them to get into trouble. That's yes. what I mean. Yes. Conf doctor patient confidentiality. Yeah, that, that is it. We have something we call it the uh, Hippocratic Eid, right? It is okay. something that we swear on. Oh. Right. And uh, we are not allowed to. Um, Reveal personal reveal confidential personal. secrets about anyone. That is it. Oh. Right. So when you tell me, when you tell me your thing is between me and you. Okay. Four eyes. Okay. That is all. So even if the police come, you can't reveal that to the police. Never, never, never. I'm not allowed to because I signed mm. and I swear on it. Yes. Okay. So, and okay. there, there is an actual law which protects you from revealing that secrets also. That, that is it. Oh, I'm okay. Not to. Okay. Yes. So when we, it comes to okay, let's talk about record keeping. Yes. I know abroad is not like Africa. Yes. How long do you have to keep a record? For example, if someone gets a, a, a prescription from a doctor yes. and then comes to you, buy the medicine, yes. how long do you have to keep that prescription? Um, that prescription, because that prescription is, um, it is money. Yeah, you for you guys. Money. Yeah, because, is it. exactly. So we have to send it mm -hmm. to what we call the election central. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a center. Okay. So they also send it to the different companies, uh, okay. the different insurance companies okay so that we can get the money back get the money back right. okay but there are some things like when we prepare creams okay right we have to keep that doc document for um, 10 years <laughs> right when we deliver blood transfusion for example mm -hmm. um, those things we have to um, keep the record for 30 years <laughs> then it's right. not easy eh? no no and the reason is this uh, the example is let's say uh, I get this blood transfusion mm -hmm. from you, uh -huh. right? I mean, they took your blood, mm -hmm. they made this tr blood transfusion mm -hmm. uh, out of it. So I got this, mm -hmm. and other people got that too. Okay. So let's say in some years, they find out that um, one of the people who got this blood mm -hmm. is having, let's say, AIDS or so. Okay. So they have to trace oh. on p those people who got all this blood. Uh, that is it, and that is 30 years. 30 years. This. So what happens if you lost that uh, document, that record? <laughs> <laughs> um, Your license can be revoked. Yeah, my license can be revoked. I have to pay, um, if one is lost, I have to pay 5,000 euros. If it, it repeats twice, they will take my license. That is all. Because one, you can't do this work. <laughs> then there are a whole lot of stuff you guys go through. There's no of story regards to entry, yes. So if someone comes here, I, 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 I me have been a victim, victim of this. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes I'm sick, I don't, I stay far away from where my doctor is. Yes. So I have to come to the pharmacy. Maybe I need some specific drug. Yes. For example, uh, paracetamol. You yes. see, we have the 500 milligram and the 1,000 milligram. Yes. Not all pharmacies can sell you the 1,000 milligram. In, in uh, Italy. Yes, yes. I don't yes. know the situation here. Okay. <laughs> So they say I'll have to go to my doctor before uh, they can give me, uh, uh, my doctor can give me the prescription to come for the 1,000. Yes. If not, they can sell me only the 500. Yes. Does that happen here? Um, it, it, it happens here, but we have a doctor mm -hmm. sitting upstairs of oh. where the pharmacy is. Okay. Right. 
-hmm. and their community. I mean, we work together. Mm -hmm. So okay. if anything like this, mm -hmm. I just talk to him and the problem is solved. Okay, right. so any doctor here can give a prescription to anybody? That is it. Oh, yes. they're very convenient. <laughs> yes, but um, first of all, they check if you have um, documents here or whatever. Oh, yes, oh I see, I see. Yes, yes, I see. Well, so you doing this, what are some of the struggles you've gone through opening uh, the pharmacy for your own self? Like, uh, just give me some... Uh, <laughs> some, <laughs> some challenges opening this and maybe someone will come here just talk to you by heart, like... I don't know how to praise this, but you see, everything there are some challenges. Yes. Or opening this, there are no challenges except when you were getting the money, the, they were, you know, going through your records to grant you the licenses and all those stuff. You don't really face much challenges in this field, or there are challenges? Of course, they are, they are challenges because we work hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, we work long hours. Oh, when, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That is the number one, 11 hours per day. For money. Really? To, yes, yes, yes. And that is where, when we are here, me and my workers. Mm. Right? And when you go home, you have to be on alert too, because you don't know if someone gets sick. Ah. Yeah, you also you have to step in. Oh, I yeah. see. Yes. Uh, that is number one. And number two is um, mm. you are talking about having problems with the customers and so. Yeah. You know, being a pharmacist, you need some skills. Mm -hmm. And communication skills is also one of the I Yeah. Mean, how you treat people Someone. yeah that is it mm -hmm. and uh the people love us right so <laughs> oh i see we try to treat them like human beings exactly with yes. respect and that dignity yeah. Yes. yeah yeah because um they they have some philosophy they say like first the customer com comes first mm -hmm. and then um maybe the workers and other things okay right but the philosophy in this pharmacy is the patients mm -hmm. Come comes first, first. yeah and the workers Okay. Um, Second. Let's, no, let's say also first two. Oh. Because when the workers, you treat them good, uh -huh. you also treat their, their patients good. Good. Oh, I yes. see. So I that see. is our philosophy. Oh. So how long have you opened this, this pharmacy? Uh, three years now. Three years now. Yes. And how many workers do you have? Uh, eight workers. Eight workers? Yes. <laughs> no, you see, I was talking, I thought you had maybe one assistant. Helping you, eight workers. We have eight workers because we also deliver medicine, right? Ooh. We have a car that when the medicine, when you order the medicine, mm -hmm. and uh, we have to, you know, when you order them, we have to order it for you. Oh, okay, okay. Right? Mm -hmm. You can bring it. If you, you don't have it here, that is it. Okay. And when you live in um, Dusseldorf, okay. Yes. So we also have that so person doing that too. Oh, you know? I see. And you saw our lab. Yeah, yeah. I was going to talk even ask you about that. Yes, we have. In Africa, we do that oral mistress and all those stuff. That you do that it. the same thing here. We do that same thing here, but I've, I have a specialist that is a pharmacist assistant. Oh, okay. Someone okay. who assists us there because mm -hmm. you can't do everything by, yeah, yourself. by yourself. Yeah, that true. is it. Oh. Yes. And then uh, ordering this stuff, you know, pharmacy is also, you have the patient side, but you also have the business side. Business side, yeah. That yeah. is it. And mm -hmm. you also need someone Some, with that. Um, the business mindset to keep everything in check. That is it. Yeah. Yeah. So we also have uh, people who are in charge of those. Oh, yes. I see. I yes, see. Yes, yes. Well, Abuzia, <laughs> I think we have to wrap this video up. Like, we will try and cover a whole lot of uh, what we can show you guys because we can't show you everything. Yeah, dog here will be in trouble <laughs> because we can't bring someone's record and just open it up and you know it, it's not nice okay let me add this before i even come back to doc because i have one question but when you, sure, when you finish sure sure yes yes you see the the one of the problems we are facing abroad is finding the right people to talk to about our own sicknesses because for example if you are in italy and you don't understand the italian language if you're in germany you don't speak dutch properly and you you have a problem which you can't really explain to someone else and you speak tree and speak english and you don't, you, you, when you go to pharmacy, I don't think most of them understand English fluently or even Chi. Here we have an African, a Guardian, who is doing that same pharmaceutical business. And if you have any problem that he can help you with, you also give advices to people. Uh, yes, of course. Exactly. Of course. The easiest thing you can do to better yourself, help your own self, is to come to him, contact him, and obviously, he can help you. You can better explain what you are going through so that he can properly get you the right medicine 
or the right advice to help you, you know, to solve any problem you have when it comes to your health? Uh, we also have alliances. I got alliances last two years that we can uh, deliver medicine through the whole Europe. Oh, yes. So if anyone is anywhere in if Europe, in Europe, yes, in they just have Europe. to call you, tell you your pro their problem. That is it. And or, you can deliver. That is it. Or they can send a prescription. Okay. And then we just send the medicine. Uh, you send it per post. So it doesn't matter the language, you know the medicine. Yes, we know, we know the medicine. If they bring us the prescription, mm -hmm. we will help them. Right. Wow. <laughs> well, this is massive on its own because me, I have problems. I will say, you know me, I have problems. My waist <laughs> is destroyed. It's getting to my spinal cord. <laughs> so, Doc, here is going to fix it. <laughs> Doc, you're going to help me fix it then? Yeah, of course. I oh, would, yeah. I will do my best. Oh, yeah. We can't have Magrahem with a broken spinal cord. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doc, can you please give the viewers watching your contact address and also um, where they can reach you. Yes, of course. I mean, the pharmacy is um, Apotheke Ekrata Strasse. Mm -hmm. I mean, we took the street name. Okay, right? okay, yeah, okay, in, okay, okay. In Dusseldorf. It is also in the centra, not far from uh, the train station. Mm -hmm. Right. Sure. So the street is Apotheke Ekrata Strasse 100. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they can call me on phone uh, 0162 Four seven zero five four seven three. Yes, if they need any advice, also mm -hmm. they can reach you all the same. Yes, but yes. please, if you are calling, I know U.S. people are very guilty of this. Know the time you are calling. You see the time differences. No, we lead U.S. six hours, but when they pick the phone, they just call. We can't answer a call when we are sleepy. Please respect doctor's time because he's a very busy man, and we even came here right after hours. He has to go home, but see, he's here for us. So if you are calling, please do call and also add the German country code if you are not in Germany. It's very important. The, the full contact details is on the screen. Definitely. You, you can watch. So now we are just going to go through and then see what doctor can show us. Yes. Doc, okay. that's all now. So, <laughs> let's, uh, okay. <laughs> so we start from here. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is what we call like like fry vibe, that's the German word. Mm -hmm. I mean, the patients, they are allowed to touch everything here. Oh, I see. That is it. Uh, so there are a type of medicine you can touch? That is it. There are some, there are some you can even see, mm. and there are some, some you are not allowed to touch. Oh, right. I see. So, um, so anything here you can touch? Everything here we can touch. Okay. Right. And then we keep on moving <laughs> forward. And then you have this medicine. I mean, this is this is the barrier. Okay. So the patient they are not allowed to cross this. Cross line. it. Okay. That is it. So this one they can see, see, but they are allowed to touch. Oh, I see. So all these things need prescription before, or not all of them. No, no, not all of them. Okay. All okay. Of them. Okay. Yes. And here too. Uh, yes, you have a lot of medicine mm -hmm. in here, in there. Okay. But like I said, it's not. That's you not can't show anything. That is it. I yeah, can't show yeah. anything. Yeah. So you see where you put it. Oh, so a lot of see. medicine inside. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> this one, I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to. Yeah, yeah, I understand, I understand. Yes. Wow. So everything here is medicine. Everything here is medicine. Oh, I see. Yes. I see. So do you give injections to here, or that is? No, we give injection here. Oh, I see. Yes, <laughs> oh, yeah, this is not. This is it, or there is more stuff. Of course. <laughs> I mean, we measure blood pressure. Mm -hmm. We uh, we measure. Um, I mean, like when you do diabetes tests, mm -hmm. right? And we also give some injection. Oh. It's a special qualification that you have to add to. <laughs> oh, I see. So you have uh, you have that qualifications everything already. Yes, I have that already. Fantastic. And one thing I want to ask is, um, mm -hmm. here in the pharmacy there, the bar is high. Mm -hmm. You have to know like all the medicine, mm -hmm. I mean, how they work, mm -hmm. which which one you can oh. take, other than how they fit together. So yours is even harder than the doctors actually. That what I was, how you were saying. I was ah. saying like the people think, the doctor, they call us mm -hmm. for advice. <laughs> right. Oh. And some call us and ask like what kind of medicine can they prescribe uh, for their patients. I right. see, I see. And uh we also we also have to um let's say be on um I don't know how to say it, like um 
know. The, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I know the German language. You see, when you stay here for a long time, the Germany start to you know confuse your English. I understand, yeah, yeah. but yes. <laughs> but we have to. I mean, we have to refresh. Okay. Um, to refresh our mind, right? Mm. We have to be on the current level. Oh, with the medicines that are re they've been released. The new release. So, okay. like every day, we are we are reading stuff. I mean, you got mm. a lot of information, a lot of laws oh. coming out. And you have to know, mm. right? Because if something goes on wrong, mm -hmm. the state they won't spare you. They take yeah. away your license. Your license. That oh. is it. So have there been a circumstances whereby, for example, um, a doctor may prescribe something, and when the person comes, you see the prescription, you'll be, you'll be like, okay, this won't be good for you. You have to change the prescription. Of course, lots. It happens lots. I mean, really? In the week, I have a problem like, let's say, four or five. At in least, a week? In the week, at least. Wow. Writing the wrong message, writing the wrong message for the wrong people. Mm. Yes. So we call the doctors and then we, we tell them like, okay, mm. this is the uh, mistake that we found. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe you should correct it. Okay. And this is the advice that we, we will you give, give to them. them. And okay. then they thank us and then they correct it. Correct it. <laughs> you see, right. some of them, some of the doctors don't know nothing. My wife's doctor, she knows, he knows nothing. <laughs> <laughs> because anytime you go to them, they say, you're okay, you are fine. Italy, we have that serious problem. Eh? So you being a pharmacist in Europe, no, that's what I'm saying. It's a massive plus for the African community because you can come to him, you can tell him exactly what you're going through, and he will help you easily. Yeah. So I'll be saying, this is not all. There is more. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is, this is our lab. Ah, the and laboratory. Laboratory. We okay. mix some medicine, some creams. Oh, so you mix yes, like in the Ghana way, but this is different. This is different. Okay. This is okay. Different. Yes. I think in abroad, everything has to be like if one gram, one gram. One gram, one gram. Oh, oh, that yeah. is it. And we have to document everything. Everything, everything you do here, do you have to document? Everything we do, we have to document. Wow. Right. So it's also a lot of paperwork. Because eh. right. like... Sometimes when you go to the pharmacy and mm -hmm. you tell them like you, they should mix a cream for you, mm -hmm. right? They tell you like, okay, come in one or two days mm -hmm. because of the documentation. Oh, right? I see. Because you have to weigh them, you have to check if you, you can like the, 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 the compatibility. Ah, with the person, okay, okay, right? okay, okay, and, okay. Uh, everything, yes. Uh, and you have to document all those stuff for 10 years. For 10 years? <laughs> hey, wow. Well, Abuja, still, this is not the end of, uh, of, the, show. of, the, of the show. <laughs> this is not the end. He still have downstairs. That tells you how serious this thing is. It's yes. not like the normal stuff. We won't even go there because there is where they store the drugs. Let me tell you guys. Where they store the drugs, their kitchen, their bathroom, and also their resting area. And... Yeah, no, am I right? Yes, you're right. Exactly. Right. So there is no need to go down there. The important thing is if you have any problem health wise, just contact Doc. Doc, the number again. Okay, it's 0162 4705473. Yeah, just add the country code if you are not in uh, Germany. Yeah. I was here. Thanks for watching. We will keep bringing you more. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for new daily updates. Adios. <laughs>